Hello, today I want to talk to you all about curiosity. Now, curiosity to me is like a boredom buster type of thing. And I have had curiosity my whole life and it's kept me from getting bored because curiosity always drives me to do something new or to try something new or to figure something out. So let me talk to you about a few things from my childhood. I was really big into model rocketry when I was young elementary school into middle school, I was launching anything I could up into up into a thousand feet up into the air with these model rockets. I had a blast. Me and my friends, we would launch rockets every weekend and most of the time they would end up in trees, but that's how it worked out. Uh, I was also really big into uh, fixing cars. Uh, I had uh, my own, I bought a car for $50. My first car I bought was for $50 and it didn't run. So I went to the library, I got a book about how to work on cars and I figured it out and I had it working by the time I was old enough to get my driving's, driver's license, I was able to now uh, drive this car. And then also I of course got into technology. My very first computer was a Sinclair ZX281 and uh, it was just so slow, so bad compared to the computers of today, but I saw where everything was going and I learned how to code in the uh, programming language of basic and it was really, really cool stuff. Later on, when I was older and grown up and married, curiosity really drove me to discover more adult things. Like I learned how to build a house. I was always curious, like how are houses built? And so when I was in my late 30s, I built our own house for my family and it took me about a year and I certainly had a lot of help, read a lot of books again. It seems like books, I get all my great information from books. It was, it was before YouTube. All right, so I got into that. I, I learned a language, I learned Spanish. It drove me to get uh, curious about being able to travel and then having a language to be in other countries. Uh, so those kind of things really uh, still drove me. And of course, I was still very much into technology. I was working with schools and technology and I was always just curious, like what's next? What's, what's the next big thing that's going to come along? And I was always constantly trying to figure that out uh, for the schools and the students that I worked with. But I gotta tell you, the, the, the secret sauce to curiosity is how it got me through a lot of what's going on in the world today. I mean, this lockdown, pandemic, all the things that have been taken from us, it was really curiosity that pushed me to figure out new and different things, okay? So uh, one of the things I did during lockdown last year was I learned uh, Swift app development for iOS, for um, like iPhones. So I developed my own app and put it, got it launched in the app store, figured that out. Uh, I was really, uh, for about six months, I was studying and studying and studying all about artificial intelligence. And I thought, you know, everybody needs to know about this. And when I looked up like everything from, you know, what I could teach my students, I realized there was really nothing there for younger students, especially young students, like elementary students. So my son and I, we came up with the idea to write a children's book. So we started and we, worked on a story idea. My son knew the more the technical side. He's the computer programmer. And we added that all together. And so uh, we figured, well, let's figure out how to write a children's book. And so we did. And now it's on Amazon and those type of things. So the point is, is that always, 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 please stay curious. Curiosity is one of those things. It doesn't kill the cat as the English expression goes. It saves you. It saves you from the mundane. It, it drives you to do and discover great things. That's what's going to take us to Mars and beyond. And it's, it's going to cure diseases, all those things, curiosity. So, so stay curious, okay? Have fun.